wasn't planning on making a video with me just sitting in front of the camera saying stuff because I, I just wasn't planning on doing that. But something happened today that I just I had to comment on it. I had to say something about it because it was just so different. Well, let me give some background to this incident or this not really an incident, just something that something strange that happened. Um, so, to anybody that doesn't know, I'm an atheist. Big surprise, I say it on my channel and all my videos. But, um, last week, I actually got into a very, very big uh, debate, uh, conversation, discussion about religion with my, um, my boss. And we we talked for hours and hours about religion and and god and stuff like that and he he's a very devout christian i didn't even realize uh, before i knew you know he probably had a religion and it probably was christianity but i didn't know he was that devout and it turns out he's also a creationist and he believes you know in the worldwide flood and adam and eve and intelligent design and all of that Anyway, so, you know, we were just discussing in a, a very uh, polite and respectful manner. And then, um, uh, later on, he actually gave me uh, this book. So can, can you read this? Can Man Live Without God? By, can you read that? Ravi Zachariah. It's an Indian guy. Um... He wrote this book, and he's a Christian. And my boss wanted me to read it, and just give him, not, not to change me, I mean, it, that probably is what he, he had in mind, but um, uh, what he said was he wanted to, um, he wanted to get an impression, a, a first impression or something like that from, uh, from me, just to read it a little bit and uh, get my thoughts on it, if I had time. So, um, I was like, sure, why not, I don't care. And I was, um, uh, just today, I was reading it on the train home, because there's nothing else to do. And then, uh, then the Indian guy next to me, he, he, wa he asked me, hey, what, are you, what are you reading, can I see what you're reading? I'm like, yeah, sure. I give it to him, and he's like, oh, I thought, I thought this was Ravi Shankar. If you don't know who he is, he, he's like a sitarist. Anyway, I'm no, 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 that it's uh, Ravi Zachariah. And he said, oh, okay. And I just said, yeah, you know, I'm just reading this book. Uh, <laughs> because, you know, my boss gave it to me, and I explained the whole deal. I said, I'm an atheist, I don't believe in God. And then he's like, oh, okay. And then he told me that he is a, a Muslim. And uh, we started just talking about that. We, we got to talking about religion. Just some stranger on the train. And uh, we got to talking about religion and stuff like that. He said he was a Muslim, and then I said, oh, you know, my, my girlfriend's also a Muslim. And he was like, oh, well, you know, one of the things I remember him saying was um, that he has a lot of respect for atheists, because atheists uh, think about God. You know, they actually think about religion, and they think about it, and they arrive to this conclusion that, you know, I don't believe in God uh, through reasoning and logic. And this is coming from a Muslim, from India. He, he was an Indian Muslim. And he also said that, uh, you know, even though he believed in God, what his concept of God is, is different. Uh, from what other people's concept of God. He said that uh, most people of religion just choose to be that religion because they don't they don't really think about it. They don't really think for themselves. They just say they are because this is part of their culture. This is what everybody else is. And um, he didn't really like that. And when I said to him, like, you know, this is just, I, I accept, you know, rational thinking. I accept science and the, the, the theories that science proposes. This is what I accept. And he said that, you know, perhaps everything that we attribute to science is God. It's just, you know, it's just a semantic issue of what do you call this, you know, the, the laws of physics and 
the things that we observe in the universe. Perhaps this is all just God. That's his argument. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, you, you can really, like, you could take it as it is and say, well, you know, if, if you're basically saying that's another name for the universe. God is what he was saying. And I just thought that was interesting. And um, I'm not sure if I agree or disagree with that. I, you know, I just uh, enjoyed having a conversation with some stranger about, you know, it, it's always good to have a, a religious discussion. I love religious discussions. I, my, my life is based on that, even though I'm an atheist. How ironic, right? Uh, with some stranger on the train, you know. <laughs> he even gave me his card. <laughs> can you believe that? He gave me his card. Uh, so I can, he, he said, you know, um, give him a call sometime and maybe he'll convert to atheism. Anyway, um, I just thought I would uh, talk about that. Did I mention why I'm wearing this this different hood? Yeah, it's because I'm at my cousin's house. I don't know if I... I can't even remember if I mentioned that or not. Uh, I rambled on for too long now. Okay.